Timmy Joe reviews anything. Reviewing computer parts on YouTube. That's Woo! You gotta be pumped on that, right? Well, computer parts! Woo! Oh, yeah. What's up, my friends? We're, uh, hi, what's going on? We're talking Timmy Joe, making videos about computers on the internet. And I have a treat especial for you today. Have you ever heard of a company that makes video cards other than maybe AMD, well, ATI, Radeon Technologies Group, uh, or NVIDIA? Um, or maybe Intel to a little super lesser extent. Um, yeah, what, 3DFX, Voodoo, you know, there, there were back in the 90s several different graphics cards players and, uh, you know, a lot of them died out, went bankrupt, didn't, you know, weren't able to keep up with the times, uh, and then this little guy comes along. I think one of the last vestiges of an attempt to make a graphics processing unit for gaming that would uh, be able to compete in that space. We're talking 2003 here. Uh, 3D effects had already been bankrupt and bought out by NVIDIA at that point. And, uh, you know, all the little lower guys were... There was a Chinese company by the name of XGI that made this and announced it. And it looked like the salvation for the non-green or red gamers might actually happen. Um, it's a dual graphics card solution that I don't have here today. I have the super budget version, and I wish I, uh, I don't know, if anyone has one of these, send it to me, send it to me. But, no, we're going to here to talk about that, we're here to talk about this. This is the Valeri V3, and it was probably direct competition to something like this. The Radeon, the Radeon, here we go, 9200, a budget solution, okay? Around the same specs as this, these are 128 megs, 128 megs. Same type of, you know, look it. It's even got DVI uh, output, and then I'm going to have to record this all squirrely because it doesn't do a resolution that my Elgato will talk to. So we're going to fire this in here in my AGP times 8 slot. I think that's what, anyways. Boom! This is my uh, Windows XP test system, and it is, uh, you know, it's got P4 in it. It's got some RAM. It's got, I for, even forget the specs. I haven't fired this thing up in a while. Well, I did. I did like 7,000 Windows updates. Um to get this make sure this video was going to actually start happening properly but before we fire well yeah before we fire it up we'll uh do a little uh we'll do a little lesson on what xgi was or what i've come up with there's not a lot of information and then what's even more interesting is chain tech was the uh the board partner that made this and there were a few other board partners including roswell chinese you know companies that were Putting, make you know, putting these together and putting cooling solutions and stuff on them. Uh, this one looks like it's a direct XGI, but there were others. But uh, you see, XGI was a technology. It's a Chinese company upon the old graphics division of SIS, spun off of the separate company and the graphics assets of Trident Microsystems. Trident is definitely a name I've heard before. They make boards and, and different things and stuff. Uh, founded in 2003, headquarters of Taipei. Uh, you know, they had uh, the announcement of the Valeri Duo, which was what I had up on the screen there a second ago. And uh, it was set to rival, you know, some crazy solutions from NVIDIA and, uh, you know, maybe try and get things on the market. A few months after the announced, the XGI graphics cards were uh, found by enthusiasts and hardware reviewers to be less than competitive with the ATI brethren and NVIDIA brethren. Some performance visualization problems blamed upon underdeveloped drivers which is always you know a huge problem uh you know for even an existing architecture when you bring in something new and you're trying to compete in a space that's already been there uh you know understandable you might run into problems now there were several different ones announced and launched there was uh valeri uh duo v8 ultra valeri v8 ultra valeri v5 these are different variations on the silicon and this one's the lower end uh v3 which was actually sort of considered a decent budget option it was cheaper than these at the time and it kind of had a little bit better performance uh, as far as the research would suggest but uh here if we check this out we see here that uh, what they were cards. There was uh, you know a couple more announced. There was some Z series, and then some that were uh, developed by the Trident team, the V3, blah blah blah. But uh, they were bought out um, essentially 
and kind of dismantled uh, after a short time. But chain tech still remains today, as we'll see in a second. So uh, we go over here, and maybe I can get my too many keyboards going on. Yeah, so that's that. Uh, video card review here. It's there's not much information. If anything, what chain tech V3 SVS gets a core of 200. Uh, it's got a bus width of 64 bit and there was a 64 meg version and a 128 meg version and uh, Yeah, not much information uh, It has a good overclock ability apparently. Maybe we'll see if we can you know, I'm gonna have to use This probably which is gonna be fun uh, to install the thing I have made sure it works But I have not gone as far as to even run you know run it or anything So yeah, this is what some of the you know uh, dual graphics card solutions look like uh, you know, and there were basically that, that's crazy to just put throw two of these on one card when you're uh, you know having trouble even getting the drivers working for you know the single GPU. It's you know it's but they you know looks fun. Anyways, moving on. Got some stuff going on there. So the Valeri V3 on September two fifteenth two thousand three. Uh, Valeri uh, was a budget video card available in the AGB 8x interface with Walton Chain Tech Corporation of Taiwan. The V3 similar in performance, but generally cheaper than the Ation, ATI Radeon 9200 SE. So it's awesome that I actually have I actually have two boxed versions, which we might look at if I you know a little bit later on. Sapphire versions. One is a PCI and one is an AGB. So we could even test some stuff on that. Let me know if you want to see that kind of stuff on the channel. But uh, there's not much information, like, you know, Chain Tech Technologies Group, you know, they're, they're still around. I've seen, you know, some some references to that. But it's, you know, they're, they're basically uh, board makers. And they do develop some NVIDIA hardware, maybe. Uh, but this is all Chinese stuff that we'd be pretty foreign to here in uh, the, the the Western Hemisphere, the Western side of the world. So, you know, chain tech. And then, uh, yeah, they're listed as an NVIDIA graphics partner. This looks like some fast-growing motherboard manufacturer. They make motherboards and various other things. I've definitely seen some sound cards that were chain tech. Stuff like that. So, uh, that's about all the information I could come up with this. So, uh, I guess all we can do is dive in and we'll, we'll see what the hell is going on. So, it does have DVI out. And it does output to this 4K Asus monitor. So that's fun stuff. Here it is working and, you know, good stuff. And is this turning on? Uh, are you going to turn on? Of course, we're running Windows XP, so I had to go through a battery of Windows XP updates. So I don't, I didn't even know. I can, they must have failed to install because I swear to God I went through that whole hour-long session before. of it installing 123 updates for some IDE hard drive. Man not fun loading so i have yet to install the drivers so let's go ahead and fire the disc in there hopefully my cd rom works and the teletubbies come to play exploring this cd change resolution install graphics card driver definitely going to need to do that it is oh wow look at that macromedia fast player with a little cube that is so cute <sighs> there we go. It's a Pentium 4, 3.6 gigahertz, and um, yeah, well, this is what's happening. It's trying to install. Don't fall down, you bastard. There we go. Okay, it's working. Oh, yeah, I want to restart my computer. Yes. Now, I didn't search the internet to see if the Teletubbies have provided a better graphics driver for this. I'm using the out-of-the-box one, which probably is going to be a bad idea. But we'll see if it can run Crisis. That's what I'm most interested in. So uh, I will spare you this. Let me click the fingers. There we go. Oh, man. Over the hills and far away. My little dudes come to play. Is this working? Oh, we see there's, an, uh, there's a right-click menu for it. So that's kind of fun. Oh, look at that. We got little things down here. That's fun. All right. Once it's loaded, I'll click my fingers. Oh, wait, I figured it out. Okay, so first off, just in case you want to know the specs, it's a P4 660 with two gigabytes of SD RAM. And uh, it's a nice OCZ RAM. Uh, the system is usually a little more responsive than this. I think it's just uh, still installing the updates and the drivers and what have you. But it's, it's good, and we see that the uh, graphics driver seems to have installed fine. And then when I right-click the screen and I hit this, I was expecting a pop-up. 
of some sort telling you know saying hey look at this this properties or whatever but all it does is it pops a tray icon up that gives you one monitor so you can double click it and see one or you can out, uh, output to a VGA with this card as well I guess at the same time as well as there's a TV out on it like an S video or like a splitter to, to um, uh, like a regular video output uh, co component there we go run 3d mark we'll see if this even works I'm expecting it not to work very well especially with the, the drivers that came with the damn thing but we'll see you know maybe we'll get a little bit of wings of fury you know going on that should be fun oh well it's working it's uh 39 fps 21 fps 27 it's really very varying the fps there but it's working i want to see apparently these got pretty hot and they only have a passive cooler on them it's yeah it's warm I mean it's working so I'm not gonna pretend I'm Phil's hardware or anything um, you know I uh, this would probably be something that would very much interest him uh, all this old stuff I used to play with this stuff back in the day when I was younger and I had a ball doing it oh black screen again is it trash? I don't know it's trashed already no uh, but I to like actually run these things so that you can consider this for some sort of retro build I'm not the kind of unsupported video card uh, might lead to unexpected results or crashes that's interesting well I can't even click okay let's see if it'll load crisis I really doubt it's going to but we'll see yeah it's not gonna run this there's no freaking way I might have to sign in now I know that you can't even use steam on XP after a certain date like coming up this year so that's gonna be kinda sad but we'll see if uh, I can get... I think I've got Far Cry installed on the Steam, not uh, on the desktop here. So we'll delete this. Okay, we're uh, running. I did a little bit of switching around. I got the things all loaded. I got 1024 by 768, 32-bit colors. Advanced options are all pretty much set to low. Any scoper filtering is at 1. Uh, so this is about as best a situation for this game. This is what I would have been running this game on back in the days with my GeForce... 5200 or whatever I was running at this kind of time. So, uh, campaign, we'll load a checkpoint, training, last, load game. We'll see uh, just how she might perform in a s situation because it was not running very well when uh, I loaded the settings that I, I think the 9800 was running pretty good at, which was 1200 uh, by 900 with some much better graphics quality settings uh, in and around medium that I think was running and I was trying to get 60 FPS the last time I loaded this game so uh, this this is the lowest of low settings for this uh, you could go a little bit lower on the resolution but you know we'll see what Fraps has to say about the frame rate on this thing so loading 8 we're still 8 FPS set this is still absolutely Unplay I mean, I might have considered this playable back in the day, but Christ, are we? Can I even find it? This is absolutely terrible performance. So, this would have been a, a pretty state of the art game for the time on a very budget, like a GT 1030, you know, Radeon 550 style graphics card. And uh, all of a sudden, our frame rates got much, much better when we got out of the fo foliage. The foliage is it's having a real hard time with some foliage, but once we get clear the foliage, we see the frame rate jumps up. I don't know. It's got the, it should have the RAM to play. Like we'll see if we'll, it'll play Half Life any better. All right, Half Life's loaded and it seems like it's working. We're at 800 by 600, and uh, we'll go. Oh no, we need to put this low, 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 reflect simple reflections. DirectX 8, there we go. Software level, DirectX 9. Uh, hardware level, uh, DirectX 8. And uh, yeah, there we go. So, um, difficult, yeah. Let's see if she loads up this this game. It's, doing, it's got 7 FPS right there. That, that cannot be good. <laughs> I think the moral of the story is there's a reason why ATI and NVIDIA were doing, well... I, I guess it's hard to judge a book by its its cover. I mean, maybe this was your favorite graphics card back in the day. It does get a 3D Mark score that's better than the 9200 SE or the MX4000, according to the box. Um, but 
I mean, I didn't really give it a fair chance in running those things, but oh, here we go. 9 FPS on like the lowest of low settings in Half-Life uh, 2 episode. Like this is a game that came out a little, you know, much later than this hardware, you know, was kind of designed for, especially on a budget. But we're watching Alex Vance get uh, healed by a Vortigon here. And uh, we are not doing too well in the frame rate department, even at 800 by 600. So we can tell here, maybe if he, the Vortigon can go a little faster, that th this video card is the sucks. <laughs> now, if I could find a better updated driver, maybe these you know frame rates would be better. But I think the overall synopsis here is it barely plays video games from the time. So you know, it, th there's a reason why this thing didn't last very long. Uh, now that dual GPU solution that would have been probably a, a bad purchase if you were purchasing it back then let me know in the comments below if you've ever heard of the Valeri V3 and what you think of it performance wise maybe I'm totally off because I was too young to really like I was you know just out of high school to really care about what's going on here but if it can't even get like 25 FPS in the lowest settings at 800 by 600 in this game I mean, what did Half-Life Episode 2 come out maybe 2004, 2005? You know, within two years, the swing was completely obsolete to play any video games. But I do remember a time where I would have acceptably played this on integrated graphics at this store of resolution. So maybe get an old computer would have been good for you. Anyways, I'm not watching me do Instagram and Twitter. I'm going to uh, maybe look into some older graphics cards like this in the near future so if you like this kind of content I also want to thank everyone for uh, you know checking out the re most recent videos uh, you know views are up there considering you know YouTube's kind of in a slump right now and I gotta thank every each and every one of you guys who helps out the channel Tyler for giving me this kind of hardware there's lots of you guys out there who donate hardware or donate your hard-earned patreon dollars to see me fool around with computers on the internet and uh, big changes are on the horizon I know I said July would be big I'm gonna try and make it big but I think August is gonna be easy even bigger so that should be fun but uh we will see you guys in another video i want to thank you very much for watching i'm at watching joe uh go out and buy up all the chain tech valeri v3s because man and what an epic value for money on this Timmy old joe. platform Timmy, Timmy, i'm probably joe. wrong sorry phil's computer lab you're probably so mad i mean this is probably your favorite video card Timmy, joe. Timmy, i'll Timmy, see you guys later joe. bye he makes videos about computers on the internet you betcha all I want to do is turn the computer off every time I do. It's like, well, I already installed 200 updates. Why didn't I turn Windows Update off? I mean, why is there so many Windows XP updates? Why does it matter?